Over the next several months, you might notice more emergency response vehicles arriving if you call for medical help. Brigham City Fire Department is testing a new response model in the area. This model is already used nationwide and even here in Utah. Weber County, for example, has used it for over 30 years. So we're trying to increase our response um, and be able to keep our paramedics in service more often for those higher acuity calls such as cardiac arrests, uh, traumatic injuries, uh, overdoses, and uh, vehicle accidents where there's uh, significant injuries. Brigham City Fire Department responds to almost 3,000 calls a year and most of them are emergency medical service calls. Traditionally, on most calls, you would have a fire engine and a single ambulance respond. That ambulance would have one paramedic and one AEMT on it. During our testing period, you might see a fire truck, an ambulance, and then a second ambulance. For this trial period, what we'll have is two personnel on the fire engine, two personnel on each ambulance that will be AMTs, and then we'll have a third vehicle, which will be a paramedic unit. Uh, we'll be trying this in both an ambulance, so we'll have uh, two paramedics on a third ambulance, and then we'll also try it on a rescue squad. Paramedics have more training than EMTs or AEMTs, and they are equipped to handle the most critical medical emergencies. The new model may also have the benefit of less wear and tear on expensive equipment. So as we work through um, this trial period, we're identifying what types of calls the paramedics are needed and the ambulance or AMTs are needed on, and then trying to see which types of calls then we can uh, not send the fire engine on so that we reduce wear and tear on that piece of equipment. The trial period is already underway and will last until the department has gathered enough data to determine whether or not this model works for Brigham City's response area.